Um, so what I found when I finally met my birth mom is I am not searching for her anymore. I am not looking at every single face trying to figure out if I might be related to that person. And it was really only after I found my birth mom that I realized I was searching so much. So that was really amazing to me. And um, if you had told me as somebody who hadn't had that experience, wow, you know, adoptees really spend a lot of time searching for their birth parents just in a crowd. You know, some therapists would say, well, is that person psychotic? <laughs> you know, they're having these sort of delusions. Um, so I, that's why I think it's important to, to know adoption issues and to know what's sort of normal <laughs> for those who live in adoption because um, adoption is really kind of an interesting um, situation, isn't it? Um, it it's, I think it's hard for all of the triad members. And um, you know, one class that I do is a lifelong impact of adoption and I talk a lot about how adoptees and birth parents and adoptive parents are all basically affected by adoption um, with some similarities in terms of feeling out of control, feeling like they want to gain that control, feeling um, you know, like this is their second choice. You know, adoption doesn't happen because things are going well. Adoption happens because there's a crisis. And part of what I think is important is to really deal with the feelings and the facts of adoption. And um, what happens when you have a difference in your family? Like when you have two kids and um, you want open adoptions for all of them. Um, and open adoption, it really is sort of like a reunion, a daily reunion. Um, it's really hard to manage, but not so much. Um, on some level, kids kind of know. You know, they just know that my situation is different than my sister's. And one of the things that you can do with kids um, is if you want them to have something that they can't have, whether it's meeting their birth parent, whether it's having a visit, whether it's having an ice cream cone, whether it's having their own room, whether it's watching a TV show, um, you know, you talk about it and you tell them that you heard them. You know, okay, I hear that you want to watch that TV show, um, but right now we need to do this. Um, I hear that you want to meet your birth mom. Tell me what you would ask her. You know, that kind of stuff. It's sort of the thing about if you can't provide what the, what the child wants or what the person wants, um, you ask what their fantasy is. Yeah. And then you add the piece about, I wish I could give that to you. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that's what you do. Yeah. I always like to trust people's intuition and especially kids' intuition. Yeah. And, you know, it's so not unusual for adoptees to have like learning issues and right. behavior issues and that sort of thing. And, and part of my interpretation of that is, well, of course, who wouldn't want to be like, you know, doing whatever, spacing out or whatever, because if, if adoptees, especially, you know, little people adoptees, sitting with that fact, and Nancy Verrier might talk about it later, you know, just sitting with that primal wound, and, you know, I always say it very bluntly, my own mother didn't want me. That's what adoptees sit with. Yikes. So even though you have that logical story, which you've told her time and time again, <laughs> it's the heart wound, you know? And so that's what I think gets triggered, you know, socially and all of that sort of thing. But um, I would be so curious what would happen for her um, if she went, maybe her sister goes with her, maybe she doesn't. I would try all sorts of variations in an adoptive family group and that what's wonderful about families going together just like family therapy if you have an adopted kid um, don't send your kid to adoption because that's like something's wrong with you go for the family when you go to a new school you say we're an adopted family you don't say I have an adopted child you know you don't want the adoptee to be the identified patient you know because they already feel like that that kind of thing